Thank you everybody for your patience. We are just logging everybody in and we will get started as soon as we can. Hi. Hi. Anne, can you hear me now? Okay, good. Just copy and paste it. Can you go and just copy? Oh, hold on one second. I'm sorry. <sighs> Mitch, can you hear me? Yes, Joe, I can hear you. I have to sign off promptly at five o'clock. Um, okay, we're going to get you in before five, even if we've got to skip around. Okay, thank you. And Mitch. Yes, Dan. I don't want to join the crowd, but uh, I'll also go in for 50. Thank you very much, Dan. Mitch, if I knew people were going to match me, I'd have given 100. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so just, you just as a reminder, we are in public session, folks. Right. Thank you. Well, it just shows everyone in the public session how generous our trustees That's are. That's right. Oh, wow. And I'm going to wait for you to tell me when we should yep. start. Yep, we're just logging people in. Bear with us for one second. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. I think we are probably wait a minute, 35. Yeah, I think we are um, okay to get started. No, I don't. We're okay to get started, Miss. Okay, great. Okay, we are, um, this is a public um, board meeting for um, December 8th um, for Temple University. Unfortunately, we are continuing to do a video conference meeting. Hopefully soon we'll be able to do this in person. Um, it is my pleasure to um, introduce our president for the president's report, Dick Englert. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, at the outset, uh, I want to uh, welcome Dr. Tanya Garcia, uh, Deputy Secretary and Commissioner for Post-Secondary in Higher Education, uh, joining us today. Uh, and we want to thank you, uh, Madam Commissioner, for everything that you do and for everything that the state does, the Commonwealth for Temple University. Uh, it's a great partnership and, and thank you so much. Thank you, President Engler. It is a pleasure to be here and I uh, look forward to our work together. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, let me take a few minutes to remember in public session, two late trustees who have served very well, both this university and this city. Ron Donatucci passed away in November after a long illness. A Philadelphia native Ron graduated from Temple in 1970 with a bachelor's degree from the College of Liberal Arts. Always an advocate for Temple, he returned to the university as a member of this board of trustees in 2006. He has served continuously since then, most recently as co-chair of the Government Relations and External Affairs Committee of this board. He was also a member of the board of directors of Temple University Health System. He was president of the board of directors of the Board of City Trusts, and he was chair of the board of Wills Eye Hospital. A longtime public servant, Ron had most recently served for nearly four decades as Philadelphia's Register of Wills. 
He also held a number of positions in city government over the decades and was elected a member of the Pennsylvania House of Representatives in 1977 and 1979. A longtime friend of this university, he built strong relationships throughout Temple and all of Philadelphia. He was always willing to help out anyone in need and we are forever grateful to him for his loyalty and his service. I think Bill Bergman summed it up nicely when he said that Ron was a cheerleader for every organization he was involved in. And he was certainly a cheerleader for Temple. I know we will keep Ron's wife, Stephanie, and the entire Donatucci family in our thoughts and prayers. I also wanna take a moment to remember James Stanley White, who died last Tuesday. During a distinguished lifetime, Jim served his country, his adopted city of Philadelphia and Temple University with great honor. Jim's record of achievement is too extensive to detail here. Let me just offer a few highlights. He entered the US Army after college and became a decorated veteran of the, of, of the Vietnam War, rising through the ranks to become a Colonel before retiring in 1977 after 23 years. Jim went on, of course, to hold several roles in Philadelphia's government, working with the city for 14 years. Under then Mayor Wilson B. Good, Jim was named the city's managing director, which is the highest appointed position in city government. In 1991, Jim became Temple's executive vice president until 1999. He was influential in helping to revitalize and uh, really enact President Leocorus's and this board's vision to make Temple a more residential university. Jim always treated everyone with respect. He championed excellence, affordability, diversity, access for students, and partnerships with our neighbors. The James S. White Residence Hall was named for him to recognize his great efforts. He became a member of the, boards of the Board of Trustees of this university and served as a trustee until 2016. I know we will all keep Jim's wife Juanita and the entire White family in our thoughts and prayers. The legacy of these two giants not only is visible in Temple today, but also will shape our university for generations in the future. I also wanna highlight two other trustees for whom 2020 is a special year. Trustee Nelson Diaz has been a trailblazer all his life. We're all proud that in October, he was given the Gus Garcia Lifetime Achievement Award uh, at Aldea's Top Lawyers Forum. And for Nelson, it's been quite a year because he earlier this year received the prestigious 2020 National Hispanic Hero Award from the United States Hispanic Leadership Institute. Congratulations, Trustee Diaz. You've always been our hero. And speaking of heroes, I also wanna congratulate Trustee Steve Charles. A few days ago, the Charles Library received the 2020 Design Excellence, uh, Excellence Award from the Philadelphia chapter of the American Institute of Architects. This, war, this award came after earlier this year, the library received the 2020 Library Interior Design Award of the American Library Associ Association and the International Interior Design Association. Thank you, Trustee Charles, for your support for this wonderful facility. Let me talk about some other temple heroes. No person more embodies the energy and the commitment of our health system to North Philadelphia than Amy Goldberg, the chair of our Department of Surgery. Last month, she was given the Philadelphia Award in recognition of her outstanding impact on the youth of North Philadelphia, especially for her work combating gun violence, supporting the victims of violence, and mounting youth programs such as Cradle to Grave, and Turning Point, both of these programs have won national praise. There are more Temple heroes in the news lately. Research produced by a team led by 
Professor Kamel Khalili and Associate Professor Tricia Burdo demonstrates how CRISPR technology is bringing us closer to a cure for HIV AIDS. It was announced last week that this team successfully removed viral DNA from primates, a crucial step on the road to a cure for HIV. This, break, uh, this breakthrough is the first experiment of its kind and the culmination of years of work. It is also another example of the dedication of Temple researchers to making a positive impact on the lives of people here in Philadelphia and around the world. Let me now shift from speaking about individual heroes and say a few words about the heroism of the Temple community as a whole. When the pandemic hit, there were some who despaired over the future of teaching and learning. Many of us did not agree. Even in the midst of, our, of a terrific pandemic, our faculty and students have risen to the occasion. The vital mission of Temple University continues. Classes are being held, research is ongoing, students are asking questions and completing assignments and graduating. It isn't easy, but it's working. And it's working because of our talented faculty, students and staff in close collaboration. Today is now toward the end of the semester, the first of two study days, Finals will begin later this week. I wanna thank all of you, especially our outstanding faculty for your commitment to Temple and its mission. Let me add that while it's difficult to single out any one group, I, knew, I know that the pandemic has especially hit our student athletes hard. Nonetheless, there's a bright spot here too. Our recent release of data by the NCAA shows that Temple student athletes have earned a record setting 91% graduation success rate, a score that tops our previous high mark set last year by one point. This is the sixth straight year that Temple athletic teams have recorded an overall graduation success rate of 85% or higher, a remarkable achievement. As Acting Director of Athletics, Fran Dumpy said last week, graduating student athletes is the prime mission of any institution and we take great pride in this accomplishment. So you see, there are many reasons for all of us to be both thankful and optimistic about the future. Here's one final one. We have had to date an approximate 12% increase in undergraduate admissions early action candidates. That is a very clear indicator of what we hope to see in fall 2021. These early action students are more ethnically and more geographically diverse than in the past with an increase in students of color and an increase of students from outside of Pennsylvania. The temple message is a powerful one and it is having an impact, even in the midst of a pandemic. So as we come to the end of this tumultuous year, my wish for all of us is that we look forward, look forward to a year that brings new opportunities for optimism, not just for Temple, but for our city, our nation, and our world. That, that concludes my remarks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the board for all you do, you are amazing. May you and all your families and loved ones have the happiest of holidays and a wonderful, wonderful 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Dick. Thank you very much. Let's move on to the approval of the minutes of October 13th, 2020. So moved. So moved. Second. Having a first and a, a second. Um, any discussion on the minutes? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. I just lost my screen. The next one is um, standing reports for the uh, trustees affairs. Trustee O'Connor. Uh, I mean, stand there. I mean, is there I'll, a report? I'll do it, Pat, if you want Thank me you. to. 
You're welcome. So recommendation for action, reappointment to the Board of Directors of Temple University Health System, that the Board of Trustees upon the recommendation of the Committee on Trustee Affairs and the Board of Directors of Temple University Health System reappoint the following individuals to the Board of Directors of TUHS, each for a three-year term in accordance with the bylaws, Stephen G. Charles, Sandra Harmon Weiss, Charles Lockyer, and Solomon Lua. I'll move it. So moved. Second. Second. Um, Second. Having a move, um, motion, uh, motion um, first and second. Any discussions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay, uh, moving to the executive committee, um, Trustee Phil Richards. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The executive committee met, and there's one recommendation for action. That has to do with the borrowing authority for the first quarter of 2021. Recommendation is that the Board of Trustees authorize the officers to borrow for operating purposes of the university $30 million on terms which the officers believe best for the university. Such authority to cover the period from January 1st, 2021 through March 31st, 2021 as set forth in agenda reference number three and I so move. Second. Second. Having it moved and second, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposed? Motion carries. Moving, moving to the Alumni Relations um, and Development Committee, Trustee Barrett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move that the board, upon the recommendation of the ARDC and the GAC, approve the naming of a simulation room in the Medical Education and Research Building at the Lewis Katz School of Medicine as set forth in Agenda Reference 5. Second. Mr. Second. Second. Having a motion and a second, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. That, that concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Trustee Barrick. Moving to um, Academic Affairs, Trustee Marshall. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, the report of the Academic Affairs Committee may be found at uh, item six on the agenda. Uh, we do have some recommendations for action. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move that the Academic Affairs Committee approve the recommendation, um, excuse me, that the board approve the recommendation to reorganize the departments in the Lewis Katz School of Medicine and redesignate or transfer the tenure faculty as further set forth in agenda reference and below. Moved, so moved. Second. Second. Other motion moved and second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Chairman, uh, agenda item eight. I move that the Board of Trustees approve the recommendation of the Academic Affairs Committee that the officers be authorized to establish the Bachelor of General Studies in General Studies at University College and set forth further in Agenda Reference 8. Second. Having a motion moved and second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, next item is Agenda Reference 9. And I move that the Board of Trustees approve the recommendation of the Academic Affairs Committee that the officers be authorized to establish the Master of Science in Education in Professional Health Education with an optional concentration scholarship of teaching and learning in health-based instruction in the College of Education and Human Development as further set forth in Agenda Reference 9. Second. Having a motion and second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, item number 10, I move that the Board of Trustees approve the recommendation of the Academic Affairs Committee that the officers be authorized to establish and rename various curricula in the School of Sport, Tourism, and Hospitality Management as further set forth in agenda reference 10 and below. Second. Having a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, number 11, item number 11. 
I move that the Board of Trustees approve the recommendation of the Academic Affairs Committee that the officers be authorized to restructure the minor in mathematics in the College of Science and Technology as further set forth in agenda reference 11. Second. Having a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Item number 12. I move that the Board of Trustees approve the recommendation of the Academic Affairs Committee that the officers be authorized to restructure the Master of Science in Conflict and Communication in the Klein College of Media and Communication as set forth further in agenda reference number 12. Second. Having a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Chairman, that concludes the report of the Academic Affairs Committee. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Marshall. Um, let's move to the Facilities Committee. Trustee Cordino. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have four recommendations for action today. Uh, I move that the Board of Trustees approve the recommendation of the Facilities Committee that the off officers be authorized to proceed with the TASB relocation phase three at a project cost not to exceed $11,593,600. I so move. Second. second. Having a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> I move that the Board of Trustees approve the recommendation of the Facilities Committee that the officers be authorized to proceed with the Biology Life Sciences Building roof replacement project at a cost not to exceed $1,650,000. Second. Having a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I move that the Board of Trustees approve the recommendation of the Facilities Committee that the officers be authorized to proceed with the main and Health Sciences Center Campus Animal Facility Improvement Project at a cost not to exceed $1,637,560. Second. A motion, motion and, and a second. All the, uh, any, any discussion? All those in favor? Say aye. Uh, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Chairman, I move that the Board of Trustees approve the recommendation of the facilities committee that the officers be authorized to proceed with the Mitten Hall main roof replacement project at a cost not to exceed $1,045,000. I so move. Second. second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Trustee Cardiza. Cardino. Okay, uh, let's move to um, Athletic Committee. Uh, Trustee Mills? Uh, Trustee Mills is not on the phone right now, so if it's okay with you, I'll just read this into the record that the report for information can be found at agenda or at uh, tab 18. Thank you. Um, Audit Committee, Trustee Larkin? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the Audit Committee met uh, regularly scheduled time uh, last month. Uh, we have uh, no items to report or uh, Report is in the back of the uh, in the binder. Thank you. Budget and finance, Trustee Gould. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The report of the budget and finance committee is under reference twenty. Thank you, Trustee Gould. Moving to committee on a strategic direction and long-term planning, Trustee Charles. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The committee on strategic direction and long-range planning met on November seventeenth received an update on the progress of the strategic planning process as noted in agenda reference 21. Thank you, Trustee Charles. Compliance Committee, Trustee Reed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Compliance Committee met yesterday to review various legal matters and receive a compliance program review and update. The quarterly report of the committee can be found at agenda reference 22 and there are no action items. That concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Trustee Reed. 
Uh, moving to um, Government Relations and External Affairs, Trustee Larkin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Government Relations and External Affairs met yesterday. We discussed various items at the state, federal, and local level. Uh, our report can be found on tab 23. We have no action items at this time. Thank you, uh, Trustee Larkin. Research Committee, Trustee Moeller. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Research Committee met this uh, this afternoon and received a comprehensive report from our Vice President of Research Administration. There are no action items and that concludes my report. Thank you. Uh, moving to Student Life and Diversity um, Committee, Trustee Diaz. Uh, Trustee Diaz's connection isn't working, so let me read this one as well, if you're okay, okay with that. Um, the committee met yesterday, December the 7th, for a briefing, and the report for information can be found at tab 25. Thank you. Uh, moving to um, the health system, Trustee Marshall. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The report of the Temple University Health System may be found at agenda item uh, 26. Uh, Mr. Chairman, there are no recommendations for action for this meeting. That concludes the report of the Temple University Health System. Thank you. Thank you. Moving to the officer's report, uh, treasurer's report, um, Ken Kaiser. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The recommendation is that the investment reports for the three months ended September 30th, 2020, and grants and contracts awarded between July 1, 2020 and September 30th, 2020 be received. Said report being included and identified as set forth in agenda reference 27. So moved. Second. Right. Is that a motion? Yes. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Kaiser. Uh, moving to the guest speakers, it's my pleasure to introduce um, Raphael. I've gotten to know him very well. He's part of the um, search committee for the, for the president. And um, I've enjoyed getting to know him and, and really think that his insight for our committee um, on the search committee has been very insightful and helpful. So Raphael. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the faculty um, in the, during this semester has been basically uh, dealing with uh, one issue, which is how to do what we generally do under the situations of a uh, universal pandemic like COVID. Um, it has been a lot of hard work um, and most of our faculty have uh, not only stepped up to the plate, but gone um, above and uh, beyond, um, I think, their usual uh, excellent performance. And I'm glad to say that the semester is over and we have uh, done the best for our students and we have taught our classes and we have moved uh, our our shared mission forward during this uh, semester and we look forward to a better time uh, next semester. Um, as uh, uh, Chairman Morgan has indicated, um, the faculty has also been working with the Presidential Search Committee and we have hosted uh, three different town halls with the uh, faculty and the search committee and search firm uh, that were you know, quite well attended and gave us some really good data. And we've also had a, a survey that has been sent to the faculty. And I understand that there has been a substantial uh, response with, again, good information for the committee to consider. And uh, other than that, uh, Mr. Chairman, what I would like to do is on behalf of the faculty to wish everyone in this meeting a healthy and happy holiday season. I know that we have all been working, not only the faculty, uh, very hard under extraordinary circumstances in the last few months. 
And again, I think we're all looking forward to a better 2021. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Raphael. Um, President of Student Government, Quinn, who is also on our search committee, and I've really gotten to know Quinn very well and enjoyed working with him as well on the search committee. Quinn? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone had a safe Thanksgiving. Um, as we approach the end of the semester, I wanted to use my time today to briefly highlight and report back on some of the work student government has been able to conduct over the past few months within this virtual setting and shed light on some of the student engagement that has taken place over the past few months as a result of the work that you all and the rest of university administration puts into maintaining our Temple community. Uh, firstly, over the summer, we were able to work with the Office of the President to encourage the university to divest from the Philadelphia Police Foundation in light of numerous instances of police brutality, some of uh, which were committed against Temple students. In August, we created a student pledge for COVID-19 to ensure students took some responsibility to follow Temple's four health pillars. Uh, currently, we are engaged in conversations to help build a diversity, equity, and inclusion module for incoming students at Temple University. Our chief of staff, Lawrence Christopher, has dedicated much time to work with university administrators to help with the university uh, investigation into ways students can be held accountable for hate speech on campus while still upholding the First Amendment. Uh, we also created a scholarship to aid students of marginalized identities in hopes of diversifying the health and public health care workforces to address various health disparities like COVID-19. We were able to provide four or $500 scholarships to students in the College of Public Health. We were able to work with the Office of the Provost to encourage the university to extend their credit and no credit option. And all of this work was on top of uh, the wonderful work that has been put in by our numerous directors, including running bi-weekly town halls, hosting block cleanups, holding book donation drives, and collaborating with university offices for things such as the Office of Community Relations Thanksgiving giveaway and Campus Safety's Halloween candy giveaways. All of these advocacy efforts are just my perspective from one student organization, while many others continue to find ways to operate and support one another virtually. While this semester and on a larger level this year has caused numerous tensions, stresses, and difficulties that cannot be understated, one thing has been proven. No matter the circumstances, Temple Owls and specifically Temple student body We'll continue to find ways to build community and relentlessly advocate for a better future. As we close out this turbulent year that has been 2020, I thank you all of you for your continuing work to better the Temple community. And as we look to the new year, I look forward to continuing to work with you all as new issues arise. Thank you all, and I hope everyone has a safe and restful holiday season. Thank you, Quinn. Um, we are, um, that concludes our agenda. Is there any old or new business? For, um, I'd like to also um, wish everyone a happy and healthy um, holiday season and a new year. Um, I only wish that we will be able to have a holiday party this time next year in person um, on campus where we can actually shake hands and kiss each other. So um, <laughs> um, everyone stay healthy. Um, I think the um, light is at the end of the tunnel. I think that um, hopefully we will all get vaccinated in the next six months and be able to interact like we have done in the past. So it's my privilege to be the chair of Temple University. It's been a really crazy year, um, <clears throat> but every day I spend on Temple University is a day I feel great about you know what we do with our students and the lives that we change. So everyone please stay safe. And do I have a, a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Thank you, everyone.